My name is Zach, and I have a crappy office job. The problem is, society has yet to evolve to a point where it's willing to pay me based purely on the merit of how awesome I really am. As such, I find myself at places like this. But today, my friends, I am skipping work and I'm gonna take you with me. Number one, if you want a day off, never ask for it ahead of time. Why? Because if you do, they're not gonna give it to you. These companies, they love nothing more than to deny you the things that would make you happy. Most of these companies are so stingy with days off, it's like fucking an iron vagina with a wet fucking noodle. If you want this, you're gonna have to take it by force. Show up for work for the first few hours of the day, but let everyone in the office know that you feel like crap. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, hey Zach. You don't look too good, man. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay. I just I felt, woke up feeling a little under the weather today, so if I can just make it through the end of the day, I'll be, fu I'll be fine. Well, you know? hang in there, man. Take it easy. Ah, thanks, thanks. I'll get some work done. Ah, oh, would you look at me sticking it out even though I'm sick and don't feel well. Tell you what, I truly am the most selfless employee that this company has. Next up, get yourself some cheap chili. I recommend Hormel or a similar brand because it smells worse than a hippie's unshowered butt crack in the summertime when it's not cooked. And this is gonna be important. After you've been there a few hours during the day, go into the break room and fill up a large Ziploc bag with chili. Add a little extra water for some added bulk. Mix it all up and you're good to go. Smuggle this bad boy back to your desk. Hide it in your shirt if you have to to avoid detection. Besides, it's going to end up in your shirt anyway. Trust me. Finally, when you've had about enough of working for the day, it's showtime. Look around the office to make sure there are plenty of people to witness your performance. One, two, one. And then sprint to the bathroom as fast as you can, but don't quite make it. Right before you get there, find a desk with a trash can, preferably one that belongs to your boss. Jesus! I don't need to make it! Finally, when you're doubled over in pain, whip out the Ziploc bag and pretend to be puking. <laughs> this entire operation is the fact that nobody's gonna notice that it's a total hoax and that you're pushing everything out of a plastic bag. Why? Because everybody's turned away in horror from the simulated tragedy that's unfolding in the office in front of them. Nobody wants to watch you turn your breakfast burrito into a reverse brunch in the middle of the office. Practice at home ahead of time and you might even get somebody to sympathy puke for you. Congratulations! Thanks to my patented technique, you've got the rest of the day off scot-free. And even if they did suspect that you were full of crap, there's no way they can prove it. What the hell are they gonna do? A taste test? Hey! Stop that clever and handsome man at the door! This isn't vomit, it's chili! 